hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to delete the data from our database in react.js using laravel api so guys let's get started so first as we can see that localhost 3000 where at home page we have to go to this and move to this delete button so let's go to our react app let me okay so guys this is our student page where all the tables are appended okay so this is the table where this variable is called student html variable and over here our table row is designed with the delete button as simple guys and now let's start to delete the data so first we are going to use on click function so on click on click is equal to open and close curly brace where we are going to check with the event of this dot delete student function okay where i am going to send this event dollar e and then with this only with this function i am going to send the id also as you can see this key item item of id so whatever you have stored in our database like so this id so get back send that item offer dot id done and now let's copy this delete function and move over here let's create after this did component let's paste delete student is equal to where event with the id you're getting of your open and close curly brace and then guys route guys so before calling let's create one variable called constant variable is equal to response axios axios dot delete function delete function i'm going to use okay so let's use back tick so below the escape button just click that back tick code forward slash api forward slash delete hyphen student forward slash with the id so dollar open and close curly brace that id which we are getting from here so let's copy this id and send in this done so once it's sent then you have to call this api right so guys let's create this api first so let's copy this api is default just leave that copy this delete student and go to our laravel and now we are under routes api.php route delete method because we have created the delete method over there okay so just don't forget this delete method is called over here and we are sending that with the id so dollar i mean direct open curly and close dollar id and let's call the controller so we are going to copy from top the same controller at destroy so let's copy this destroy and go to a student controller and create that destroy function so public function where function destroy oops make this public i see public function and now guys we are going to delete that so from student variable is equal to find your model student model colon colon find function and inside this you are going to paste the dollar id so from where you are getting from this destroy function okay so this destroy function is coming from your this id okay so this id is sent on this function and then it's deleting the data so to after deleting the data we need to send the response so before let's delete the data first and now let's send the response so let's copy the same thing copy and paste so once it's deleted it will go to 200 and deleted successfully done and wapas let's move to api.php all set let's go to our react app and now guys this should work so before calling this url you have to correct call the correct path so that is localhost colon 8000 okay so paste here remove perfect so guys now let us check in the if condition if this is success means it should show else it should not show. so if it's success then you have to check with this 
so guys once it executes this we are going to face error because when we get the response until that this code will execute us so guys for that we need to use await okay so if you are using await you have to use async also a s y n c async done and then only a response can come dollar data dot status triple equal to 200 so if it's success then you are going to mm, let's use the log to print the message called response dot data dot message so this message you are getting from your controller let me just show so this message copy this and paste done so guys now once it's deleted you should show that it is deleted but when we click like i mean to say when i click this delete button this data should get removed okay we should not load this page so for that you need to use some different so first let's create one constant variable of this clicked clicked funda so let's keep an unique variable where event dot current target current target okay so this event dot current target and with this help of variable dot we are going to get uh, we'll first fix that inner text inner text is equal to tell this as deleting so when you click on this delete button it's loading okay refresh when you click on this delete button it should show deleting and then it should remove this data so for that now we have set this deleting and after this let's copy this once it's deleted the time you need to remove the data so this current dot closest function with the remove function okay so what closest you are going to remove that is your table row so let me just show that so whatever you have appended right so that table row tr so this tr you have to call over here that's it so once it's clicked it will remove that data after deleting the data only you are going to remove that row okay save and yep guys so let's test it let's refresh open the inspect let's go to console log so let me just add with dummy data dummy 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 and gmail.com so let's add save student student added successfully let's go back you can see that it's added and now let's click to delete so click on delete student deleted successfully you can see that data is deleted guys let's refresh once again so you can see that data has been deleted so let's add few more details let's save student saved let's add another data save done go back refresh so there is no message over here and now let's try to delete this fifth data so before that let me just show you in the output of your database so guys we have total five six records over here i mean till six id let's delete this id number five first let's get back we are clicking on delete deleting and it's deleted okay so let's see now db browse once again you can see that data is deleted so guys we have successfully completed with how to delete the data so we have successfully completed with how to delete that data in react.js using laravel api so guys let's see next video with the new topic about react.js like suite alert and all so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share